When factoring polynomials, we often get caught up in using a particular type of factoring method, whether it's grouping, the AC method, or some shortcut special trick. We often forget about the first thing we learned about when factoring, and that is the greatest common factor. When factoring any polynomial, regardless of the method we use, we will always try and factor the greatest common factor first before we use any other factoring method. Which means when I look at a problem like 3x squared minus 24x plus 45, before I worry about any other factoring method, I'll first consider, does this have a GCF? Sure enough, it does. Each term is divisible by 3. So we must factor the 3 out of this polynomial first before we proceed any farther. Factoring out a 3 leaves x squared minus 8x plus 15. Now that we've taken care of the GCF, we can look at the remaining polynomial and try and factor it. Notice there is a 1 as a coefficient in front of the x squared. This is the case, we can use our shortcut with the AC method. AC multiplies 1 times 15, giving us 15, and adding to negative 8. 15, we know, is 3 times 5, but that adds to positive 8. However, if they're both negative, then they would still multiply to a positive 15, and now they will also add to the negative 8 we want. We have our pair of numbers. We have 3 in front, the GCF will never go away, don't let it disappear. And then we have x minus 3 and x minus 5. And now our problem is completely factored. It is important to note the shortcut we used to factor only worked because there was a 1 as a coefficient in front of the x squared. If there was any other number in front of the x squared, we would have had to use a slightly more involved factoring method. In this problem, we arrived at our answer by first factoring out the GCF, which should always be done before using any other factoring method, and then factoring the remaining polynomial to x minus 3, x minus 5.